Hello my dear friends I bring you greetings in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit in this short video I am going to deal with the topic the mystery of death I know most of the people don't like to talk about death because of the fear of death but I believe after seeing so many people dying due to the covid-19 pandemic I thought I will do a video about the mystery of death and i believe it is very important because we all die one day i am doing this topic through the lens of the bible now let us see ecclesiastes chapter 7 verses 1 to 4 it says a good reputation is more valuable than costly perfume and the day you die is better than the day you are born better to spend your time at funerals than at parties after all everyone dies so the living should take this to heart sorrow is better than laughter for sadness has a refining influence on us a wise person thinks a lot about death while a fool thinks only about having a good time if you observe these verses we see that the truth is we all die and it is interesting that the bible says that the day you die is better than the day you are born and it also says that a wise man is the one who thinks a lot about death so be wise and watch this video with patience till the end now let us see some statistics of the number of people dying according to the statistics on an average of 56 million people die every year and among them 4 and 1/2 million people die every month and 153 1000 people die every day and around 6392 people die every hour and 106 people die every minute and around 2 people die every second now let us see how many people died of recent covid-19 pandemic coming to the covid-19 pandemic deaths around 2.33 million people died due to the covid-19 pandemic among them around 100000 people died of covid in uk itself and as i am speaking and as you are watching this video there are many people dying on this planet so it looks like it is a very important topic to talk about now let us see what is death we normally think about the death as something that is pronounced by a doctor when vital signs of life have ceased when the heart no longer beats and when the lungs no longer breathe and when the brain no longer sends signals throughout the body then the person is pronounced as dead now let us see what bible says about death in psalms chapter 104 verse 29 Bible calls death as God taking away our breath. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1, Bible calls death as dissolution, that is separation of the spirit from body. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 3 to 4, Bible calls death as being unclothed. And in Philippians chapter 1 verse 23, Bible calls death as to depart. And in Psalms chapter 76 verse 5, Bible calls death as sleep or falling asleep and in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 26 Bible calls death as an enemy it is interesting to see that bible calls death as an enemy now let us see the origin and the cause of death bible teaches the origin and also the cause of death Let us see Genesis chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. It says, "And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die." Genesis chapter 3 verses 4 to 6. "You won't die," the serpent replied to the woman. "God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it." and you will be like god knowing both good and evil the woman was convinced she saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious and she wanted the wisdom it would give her 
so she took some of the fruit and ate it then she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it too in genesis chapter 3 verse 19 it says by the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground since from it you were taken from dust you are and to dust you will return if you observe these verses we see that death is the result of sin and death is a result of adam and eve's disobedience to god i believe when god made adam and eve he made them to be perfect but out of their own free will instead of listening to the creator they listened to the lies of the devil and they sinned and they brought death upon themselves and death passed to other humans if you see romans chapter 5 verse 12 it says when adam sinned sin entered the world adam's sin brought death so death spread to everyone for everyone sinned if you observe this verse we see that as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin and this death came to all of us because all have sinned bible clearly teaches that all have sinned and come short of the glory of god now let us see what happens after death if you see some believe in reincarnation the idea that if you lived a good life then you will come back in the form of another creature or even as another human and if you lived a bad life then you will come back as an insect or an animal secondly purgatory depending on your good deeds and bad deeds the idea of going to a place of punishment until you pay for your sins and move on from there to heaven the idea of becoming ghost some believe that once you die you will come back as a ghost and even to haunt someone finally some believe that you cease to exist some believe in the idea that once you die you cease to exist now let's see what bible says will happen after death let us see hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 it says just as man is appointed to die once and after that to face judgment if we observe this verse we can clearly say that we will all die once and then comes the judgment bible clearly teaches in many places that god is going to judge the whole world it is called as the final judgment it says in acts chapter 17 verse 31 for he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed he has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead if you observe this verse god the father set a day and on that day he is going to judge the whole world along with his son jesus christ it is interesting that he says here that he has given us a proof by raising his son jesus what it means when he said that he has given us the proof by raising his son jesus here comes the interesting and most important topic that is the resurrection now let us see what is the resurrection and also what is the resurrection of jesus christ and also what happened on the day of the resurrection and what is the resurrection of the dead firstly what is the resurrection resurrection is a state of any person risen from the dead the resurrection of jesus christ is one of the most important historical event the resurrection of jesus christ is of great prominence in christianity we all know that jesus died on good friday and he rose again on the third day jesus died for the sins of the mankind by shedding his holy blood on the cross and he rose again on the third day that's why we celebrate easter sunday the day of the resurrection on this day jesus conquered death bible says that death is an enemy and jesus defeated and conquered this death on the day of the resurrection without the death and resurrection of jesus christ there is no place for christianity christianity stands on the central doctrine of the death and resurrection of jesus christ 
Now, let us see what is the resurrection of the dead. Let us see 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 12 to 14. It says, But tell me this, since we preach that Christ rose from the dead, why are some of you saying there will be no resurrection of the dead? For if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, then all our preaching is useless and your faith is useless. If you observe this verse, my friends, Jesus died and rose again on the third day. Similarly, all we who die will also rise one day. That is the resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is a clear picture of what will happen in the future when Christ returns. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is linked to the resurrection of the dead. The early Christians always believed and taught the subject of the resurrection of the dead. Apostle Paul wrote a whole chapter that is 1 Corinthians chapter 15 about the resurrection of the dead. If you see my dear friends, everybody who died on the planet till now will be resurrected on that day on the resurrection of the dead and Bible is very clear about this subject and if anyone tells you that once you are dead you cease to exist it is a big lie do not believe them now let us see 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verses 21 to 23 it says so you see just as death came into the world through a man now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man just as everyone dies because we all belong to Adam, everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. But there is an order of, to this resurrection. Christ was raised as the first of the harvest. Then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back. If we observe these two verses, Bible clearly teaches that since death came through one man, that is Adam, we all die in Adam. The resurrection of the dead comes through another man and that is Jesus Christ and in Christ we shall all be made alive. Jesus Christ rose from the dead 2000 years ago and one day in the future all the people who died on the planet are going to rise again. It says in the Bible the dead in Christ shall rise first. Now not only the people who belong to Christ will rise but also the people who rejected the Christ will also rise on the day of the resurrection. Let us see Daniel chapter 12 verse 2. It says, Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. If you observe this verse, we see that everybody who died on the face of the earth will rise again. The people who believed in Christ to everlasting life and the people who rejected Christ to everlasting shame and punishment. Let us see Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. It says, But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Now let us see Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. It says, And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. If you observe these two verses, Bible clearly teaches that all the sinners and Satan and its evil angels will be sent to this eternal punishment that is the lake of fire. My dear friends, devil has been deceiving people right from the beginning that is from Adam and Eve till today. Many people so that they can reject the salvation of Jesus Christ. Dear friends, we have heard people saying that we'll party in hell. My dear friends, don't even think of this place hell. It is a real place of torment. Bible teaches very clearly that it's a place of torment, that is the lake of fire. And some say that, how can a good God send people to hell? My dear friends, God never wanted people to go to hell. It is the people out of their free will choose to reject the salvation given by Jesus Christ and they end up 
going to this eternal punishment in fact god never made hell for humans it says in matthew that god made this hell for devil and its angels let us see matthew chapter 25 verse 41 it says then he will say to those on his left depart from me you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels if you observe this verse we can clearly see that god prepared this place that is the lake of fire for devil and its evil angels god never intended to send humans to this place but again people chose by rejecting christ to go to this eternal punishment now let us see how to be saved finally there is good news and there is hope if you are watching my video and if you are a non believer in jesus christ you can still be saved from this eternal punishment remember that god is a loving god merciful gracious and forgiving but god is also full of wrath against the people who reject his laws and who reject his great offer of reconciliation what is this great offer of reconciliation this is the good news of jesus christ this is the gospel of jesus christ now i will show you three simple steps of how to be saved they are the abc of salvation a stands for admit that you are a sinner and admit that you need a savior romans 3:23 says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god and it says in romans 6:23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life in christ jesus our lord b believe that jesus is the lord and believe that god raised him from the dead c confess and call confess with your mouth that god raised him from the dead and call on the name of the lord jesus then you will be saved it says in john 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life it says in romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 that if you confess with your mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation Romans 10 verse 13 says that for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So my dear friends, I hope you believed in Jesus Christ and you have been saved. I hope you understood the mystery of death and what happens after death and how to be saved from this eternal punishment and to have eternal life. So my dear friends, if you like my video please do share it with your friends and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel suman polapaka apologetics know the truth and the truth will set you free god bless you see you soon